<laughs> it's always good to start your live stream like dancing and eating snacks. <laughs> Starting a little bit early, early. Ten minutes to go. Nom 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 nom. Oh! Skip ad, skip ad. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? I've started a little bit early. Uh, I'm not, a, you know. Uh, sometimes it takes a little while for my phone to kind of sink in with YouTube, so. A little pre show to the show. Mmm. Trying to stay hydrated. It's been a rough week. So who do we have here today? Who's here? Got two likes. Ding! Yeah, you're tuned in a little bit early. But like I said, um... Uh, sometimes it takes a little while to sink. We shall see. It's like the top of my head. <laughs> I'm eating rocks. Ah, oh, here we go. All right. It's royalty free music. <laughs> Aha! There we go. That's better. What's up? What's up? Oh, did, <laughs> did Emma come in? Let me pop out the chat. Hey, 
and, and, a little music for later. There you go. <laughs> ah, we got like five minutes. So I, hello, hello. I put a little, I put a little link to some cool music. I'm sure you'll appreciate it. That's for later on. All right. We're almost there, almost there. We got like three more minutes, I promise. Chilling. All right, I got the chat popped out. We're good. Live control room. Ah, all right. 
right, close enough. It's 8 o'clock. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. My name is Lazaro Gomez. This is Baten Art, and you are tuned in to the Friday night live stream. Uh, we're going to let the chat build up, as we always do. I'll do my little intro here and there, and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and then we'll get right into our project. So, uh, let's see. I invited... Okay, so I invited uh, Steve to join us. Hopefully he can make it. Uh, if not, then I'll talk for him and basically say a bunch of stuff and then he can correct me later on. <laughs> I was going to do the intro like this. I was going to do like this. I was going to... Hi, I'm Lazaro Gomez. This is Baten Art. And you're tuned into the live stream. <laughs> I was going to do it like that, but that would have been, like, really freaky. Ah, uh, man, what a week. Um, so, the family kind of came down with this, like, pesky cold. I had it really, really bad for two days, I would say. Two days that really knocked me out. And then, like, it was, like, sick. And then just kind of, eh, you know, just kind of steady, like, annoying. So a lot of congestion, uh, a lot of sinus pressure and stuff like that. So if I sound weird or I cough in between, uh, I do apologize for that. But the good thing is that I'm here and wherever you are, you won't catch it. <laughs> so we're hoping it works out. Uh, but yeah, so staying hydrated, you know, eating these little snacks and kind of getting everything ready for the live stream. And then I know I started a little bit early, but sometimes uh, when I try to sync up with my phone, it takes a little while. Um, and then I got to set up the chat so I can see what you guys are, are telling me. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, it takes a little bit. So I went I went early. I went about like 15 minutes early. So sorry about that, too. Mm. Uh, needless to say, there's always good things. Like you have... You have bad things that happen and then good things. So bad thing is I got sick. Good thing is we're getting over it. Um, we got tons and tons of stuff lined up for the live stream. This week I have, I have this little notebook that I write things down in. And um, I started writing down ideas and things that I wanted to kind of cover on the live stream. And... Um, and so there's a lot coming. There's a lot. There's a lot of coming. I've had a lot of uh, positive feedback from the live stream. The last week's live stream we had about 39 views, which is is pretty cool. Um, usually with usually with art videos and stuff like that, you get like this. Um... <laughs> yes, yes. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. You know, we're letting it simmer. We're letting it simmer. Uh, but yeah, so. I got a lot of positive response from the live stream and I got to say I'm really excited about that because this is one of the one of the challenges that I wanted to um, that I wanted to accomplish. Hey, hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I wanted to accomplish a, a weekly live stream and so far so good. I mean, so you know, we have a nice uh, real cool place to hang out and just chill and you know, uh Ask me questions about anything. Uh, ask art questions, life questions, whatever. So it's kind of like our own little tiny spot on uh, on YouTube that we could just kind of hang out and uh, and just spend some good quality time. So I'm really excited about that, and I want to say thank you uh, because, of course, you guys make this possible. Um, if I had nobody to watch these videos, then, <laughs> well, you know. You know how it goes. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing them. <laughs> but this week, uh, of course, we finished some artwork uh, that's hanging very, very proudly on my backdrop. And, of course, I'm thrilled about that. But uh, this week, we're going to be doing a custom Hot Wheel. So this is the, this is the Hot Wheel primed, uh, just so we can go ahead and customize that. But... Um, but yeah, we're working on a, on a Hot Wheel, and as you can see, I got some Star War or Star Trek uh, Hot Wheels. I also have some Star Wars Hot Wheels that I'll probably put over on this side, 
uh, and things like that. So obviously I collect toys. <laughs> I collect a lot of toys, collect artwork, uh, and lots of fun things like that. But now we can, uh, we can address the artwork that is very awesomely decorating my wall. And there it is. Uh, very carefully take it off. And there it is for everyone to view. This is all you guys. And I gotta say, it turned out like really, really, really awesome. I put the 2018 there just to kind of commemorate it all. Powdered Toast Man. <laughs> I threw in my little character in there. Of course, Zombot from, uh, from the book that I wrote. And just all these little different characters. Rocco's up there. We have uh, Sally with a unicorn and Darth Maul. We have Sailor Moon riding a raptor. Of course, uh, Bob Ross done in Gravity Falls style. <laughs> we have uh, we have Chucky and Doug, and then we have over here we have Ruby Rod. Uh, we got Pikachu, of course, right there. Then Pinky and the Brain. But yeah, it turned out really, really awesome, and I'm and I'm proud of that. Like you guys made this, huh? And I told you, I told you it was gonna be like really awesome. It was going to be really awesome, and then, of course, it's going to hang here forever. Or, I don't know, I guess <laughs> I guess if I move or something, yeah, I'll take it with me, and it'll become uh, part of the new studio wherever I go. So, <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, like I said, I'm really proud of that, and I'm so happy that you guys um, did that. <laughs> T-shirts! <laughs> All right, so, yeah, that's another thing, too. Um, so I was approached about uh, putting that on a T-shirt or, like, a limited print run and stuff like that. But um, I don't ex – I, I don't – all right, so here's the, here's the thing. I feel kind of, like, weird because it's something that we did together here on the live stream, and I wanted to be part of the live stream. Now, I know that you guys would like to have, you know, something to kind of commemorate the same thing. But I don't want to like, hey, here, buy this t-shirt or buy this print or whatever. I, I don't want to do that with this particular piece. So I was thinking of doing one of two things. Either A, um, I can create another piece that you guys can purchase as a print or, or whatever you want. Or I can get this one and kind of photograph it really, really good and have a high resolution image. Uh, post that on my website. And you guys can download it and print it and, you know, post it on your walls or wherever you like. So I don't know. Um, let's kind of throw out some ideas. Let's see what you guys agree with. But I really don't want this to be like, I don't want to capitalize on this. You know what I mean? It's just something that we created on the live stream. And it's, it's more a piece for me to have. But I also understand why you guys would want it. Um. But I don't know. I don't know. You, you, you guys tell me. I mean, like I said, I, I don't want to. I don't want to make money off of this, off of you guys. It's not fair um, because, of course, I invited you guys to create that for me. So I don't know. Uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe I'll get it printed and maybe ship it out to you guys. I don't know. But uh, but just let me know. If not, we can create another one, and that'll be all you know my designs, and then put it up on the store I guess so with that said uh, it's done it's awesome it's there <laughs> and uh, and you guys made it so that's pretty cool all right so uh, back to let's see it'll be dope on a t-shirt actually I got the chat right here all right it'll be dope on a t-shirt uh, do whatever you want with it it's a great piece connecting us all together yeah I agree um, I agree so I don't know, like, again, we, you know, we have all the time in the world. So it's like, <laughs> we have all the time in the world, but I, I'm kind of leaning towards like posting a high resolution image of it. You guys can download it and, you know, print it however you want and, uh, and put it in, I don't know, wherever, put it in your house or, or whatnot. But I want to give it to you guys is, is the point. That's the final point. I want to give it to you guys rather than make you buy it. So, um, so I want to say, 
around September or something like that, uh, I got together with my friend uh, Steve, and Steve is a Hot Wheel collector. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, but anyway, Steve is a Hot Wheel collector, and he's been collecting Hot Wheels for <laughs> for a long time. And he also customizes Hot Wheels, which I thought was extremely interesting. And we sparked up a conversation, and he was telling me all about customizations and how he does them and um, and all of those neat things. And me, as a DIY guy, I, I just naturally gravitated to it because I make acrylic toys and all kinds of different props and stuff like that. And just him doing the Hot Wheels, I thought it was such a great idea. Uh, for my instructables page if we kind of wonder twin powered this project and basically he creates the car i paint it and then give it right back to him and it's kind of like a neat gift you know between us and that's exactly what he did so um i felt horrible because uh when we had this conversation like i want to say like a week later he had this car ready for me and i was like oh my god um yeah so I'm extremely busy <laughs> and what happened was uh, it was at the end of the year so of course my commissions piled on and I couldn't do the project um, so here we are January uh, doing the live stream and we're actually tackling the project so I'm really excited about that and um, and like I said I hope he I hope he joins the chat that way if he if you guys have any questions about what we're doing he can kind of answer it and stuff like that but um, basically he finds these he finds these little vehicles and uh for this particular project this is two this is two vehicles that have been welded together with jb weld and then of course uh he does the interiors as well so that's the interior of the van and then he uh he welds the bottoms and he, you know, he taps his own screws. It's like, it's really, it's really, really neat. And, and that, you know, I just think it's, it's so cool to have something like that because it's original. It's, it's like, it's not, you know, store bought or anything like that. Um, and he can, you know, he can customize these things and make them whatever he wants. Um, and then of course we were thinking about what kind of, uh, what kind of artwork we're going to put on it. And tell you quite honestly, I'm like freaking out. <laughs> I'm freaking out because um, these these vans are kind of hard to find. And when you do find them, they're expensive. And so I only have like one shot to get this done. <laughs> one shot. And then, of course, you know, um, he, I, he encouraged me and kind of reaffirmed that, yes, of course, we could always, you know, use acetone and wipe off the paint and start all over. Uh, but I hope I don't get to that. So the idea for this was to kind of um, just make the van like an ice cream sandwich. And it would have like chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And then the two cookies on top. And just, you know, have this really neat, um, have this really neat van that looks like an ice cream sandwich. So that was the idea that I had. Um... And I kind of kept it from him. I didn't. I didn't tell him what I was gonna paint it as uh, until the last minute. And he was like, "Well, what are you gonna paint it? What do you got? You know, are you gonna do some graffiti? Are you gonna do this? Are you gonna do that?" And I was like, "You know what? I'm doing. I'm gonna do an ice cream sandwich." <laughs> mm. So with that said, <clears throat> I used a regular rattle can. Um, rattle can flat or sorry satin spray paint so I could prime it because if not it would just be like raw metal so that's the first step and then I let it cure uh, I want to say for about 48 hours we let it cure and then I I got these little uh, acrylics that I'll be using so there's the strawberry vanilla and chocolate or chocolate and then this will be the cookie because the cookie is a little bit darker. But um, so anyways, that's that's the deal. That's what we're making tonight. <laughs> so like I said, I have one shot. Uh, hopefully I get this right. And um, and we have some fun with it. So that'll be that'll be it. Our Hot Wheels uh, live stream. <laughs> 
now everybody's like, oh man, Hot Wheels, I'm out of here. <laughs> but, uh, but of course, you guys being as awesome as you are, hanging out with me, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be real fun. So we have that, the Hot Wheels, um, and I have a couple other things that I'm kind of just throwing out there into the, into the cosmos to see. Uh, this year for Megacon, it's coming up. Uh, I'm lining up all my shows. I have a whole list of like shows that I'll be doing and stuff like that. But for Megacon, I'm looking to share my table uh, with somebody. I know that uh, Leanne and Trace, you guys already got tables. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> um, of course, my family's going to want to go. <laughs> They, they they go to whatever conventions that uh, they're able to go to. But I'm looking to share my table. So uh, if any artists are out there and are watching this and would like to share a table with me, then, uh, th you know, unfortunately, you have to do what I do. <laughs> you got to put that money out. <laughs> uh, you guys are excited. Oh, you're nervous. What are you nervous about? You've already done a show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hopefully, um, hopefully we sit together, but I know a lot of people that are going to be there, and so it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a really great weekend, um, but yeah, so I'm looking to share my table because it's it's really weird. The conventions, like especially the big conventions, the tables are getting smaller, and they're more expensive, and I figured it would help me out, and it would help somebody else out to kind of share the table and share the cost. And, uh, and make it affordable for everybody. So that's uh, that's one thing I'm putting out there. If someone wants to share a table at Megacon, please feel free, reach out to me, and we'll make it happen. Uh, so there's that. Also, uh, I don't know if you guys have been watching on Instagram. I've been posting uh, Sketch of the Week. And if you want to be part of that, it's every Monday. Post up a sketch and uh, hashtag it. Uh, well, right now I'm using hashtag Bot10Art. SLTW, which is um, Sketch of the Week. You guys don't have to use the Bot10, but if you hashtag it SLTW, let's see what we let's see what we start on Instagram. <laughs> Be like, what is this? What's this SO SO stuff you guys doing? So, I thought it was a neat way to kind of bring all the artists on Instagram together, and it's like one sketch a week. It's not that hard. Hmm. So we got that. We got Megacon. This is going to be part of my Instructables. Of course, we have the live stream video for it. Um, also, I got together with a friend of mine. Uh, I mentioned it last week that I was meeting with him. We were going to have some uh, some food from the UK, and it was really, really awesome. Uh, I got to talk to him for a while. And he's got a really cool idea. He's trying to get... Um, He's trying to get toy collectors and coin collectors and artists and stuff like that together to do a to do a small show in a pub in an Irish pub, and uh, we talked to the owners. Everything's super cool, and he he reached out to me to kind of help him get some artists together for that show. So I'll be looking for six artists that want to set up a table, probably for one day, and just kind of hang out and do whatever you guys want to do like if you want to do live artwork or you want to uh sell art prints and stuff like that uh right now there's no cost to it so it's kind of like a free show not too bad and he's a good friend of mine i want to help him out and i want to help the establishment out and um so it'll be either myself and five other artists or i might take myself out of the equation and allow um allow six artists that way there's more room and stuff like that. But I'll have more details or more information about that show as the details clarify. As things get, you know, closer to the event and um, things formalize, you know, they, they, they get put into put into place. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, there's Megacon, there's that show, and, uh, and there's a bunch of other stuff too that, that are coming up. So, yeah. It sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'd be cool. Um, and like I said, it's it's um, it's kind of experimental. We're we're not really uh, familiar with the numbers. 
we don't know who's going to show up. We don't know how it's going to happen. We're just kind of winging it right now. But like I said, with with more details, I'll I'll provide more information and we can set that up and do a lot more shows and, and stuff like that. So with that, I think that's it. Did I cover everything? Instructables, commissions. Uh, right now, I'm wrapping up a really big commission and I'm opening up space um, for the second quarter. So that should be good. So if you guys know of any commissions that are coming my way, let me know. That'll be great. <laughs> uh, so I got commissions. I got the art show at the Irish pub, sketch of the week, of course. Did I cover the snacks? I showed these last time. These are actually really, really good. And I, I'm not <laughs> I'm not getting paid by these people. But they are really good. They're like uh, wasabi soy flavored snacks. And I've been eating those and staying hydrated and just kind of getting past this cold. But anyways, uh, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to switch the camera and I'll show you what I got on my table. Here we go. <laughs> Here we are. All right. So uh, this is basically what I have for this project. So I got my metal ruler here, of course. I got some tape. This is the screwdriver uh, that I use to take these screws out. These two things right here are the uh, windshield to the car. And then this is, like I said, the inside of the car. That's the bottom of the car. These are my paints right here. I got some water over here and I have my, uh, my palette. So, and of course, you know, a couple of brushes, this, that, whatever. So the first, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to use my pencil to kind of mark out uh, evenly where I want those lines to happen where I want the uh, division of the colors to, to go. And then we'll start painting this thing. So we'll see. It'll be either epic or epic fail. <laughs> it's always that way. Like when you're an artist and like somebody says, hey, it'd be really cool if you did this for me or you get a commission or anything like that. First, you're psyched, you know, you're like really excited. You're like, oh yeah, 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 definitely. I can do that. And then that moment of terror hits you and you're like, Oh my God, how am I going to do this? But then it all works out and it turns out really awesome. So there you can see, there you can see the two vehicles. So this is, this is one vehicle. That's the second vehicle. It was cut down the middle and then welded in the middle with JB Weld. And uh, if you're not familiar with JB Weld, it could be purchased in automotive, uh, I guess, automotive stores. And it's used to fuse metal together. And Steve does a really good job at putting these things together. Uh, if I remember correctly, he told me he uses a an X-Acto knife or a, a razor blade to cut these vehicles and kind of put them all together and stuff like that. But uh, that's to me, that's just truly amazing. And then, of course, these, um, in the normal vehicle, they come with a rivet. So you, you can't, like take the car apart because it's actually riveted together for safety for like kids so they don't eat this you know the parts and stuff like that so what he has to do is he has to basically drill that out and then he has a tap that he puts in here and he actually creates the uh i guess the grooves for the screw so that he can later on add a screw to this and put it all back together so i thought that was pretty ingenious too so there it is there's the vehicle the idea is to kind of uh, split it this way. So we have the three flavors and they're equally, you know, distanced. So hopefully that works out. I'll zoom in a little bit there. Ah, oh, zoomed in. All right, there we go. So it'll probably like fade in and out or as it tries to focus. But that's the idea. I'm going to I'm going to split this up in three here so I know uh, where to paint each color. So let's get to that. Let's get to that. <clears throat> oh, you can hear me sniffling. Oh, I'm sorry about that. All right, so let's see. Let us know about it when you can. It sounds awesome. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'll, I'll let you guys know once I know more. Once I know more, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so hopefully I don't take this out of frame. I'm looking to see 
but the door is about an inch from the front from the front of the vehicle to the door is about an inch and I could do about an inch of that and then the back would be an inch so or a little bit under an inch all right so we'll do that all right so uh, let's see if I could do this I'm trying to <laughs> try to balance it it all right so I'm gonna go off the screen for a minute And basically what I'm doing is I'm marking where the one inch line is on both sides of the car and then I'll put it back on the camera it's just a little bit hard to like balance it so you guys are watching nothing right now okay so there we have it all right, what I did is, it's like, it's about an inch from here to here, so I want another inch from here to here. And this is not a complete inch, of course, but uh, it wraps around, so I think we're okay with that. I don't want to do, like, serious math on this thing. <laughs> don't want to do that! And just given the nature of how small this thing is, I figured I would use a use tape to kind of help me out uh, with this that way uh, that way I don't have any like weird overlaps or gaps or anything like that so there's one and we'll do the same thing that way we can paint this side brown So I trust everybody is doing good, had a good week, busy week, how was it? Alright, there we go. It was productive. Nice. That's always good, right? A good productive week, that's good. Who doesn't want that? All right, there we go. Oh yeah! Hi! <laughs> I'm just shaking up this paint right here. Hello! Productive is always good, especially like you get a, a good sense of accomplishment when the week is done. You're kind of like, yeah, I did it. Of course, the weekends are a little bit. Weekends could be busy, too, though. You get wrapped up with housework and everything else. and Next thing you know, the weekend's gone. <laughs> and you're like, man, what the heck happened? All right, there we go. So this is going to be our our chocolate, and I figured I figured it'll take several several coats of paint. It's not like spray paint where you could just like with a rattle can you could just paint and it's done. So we'll see. But I also have to paint the back of the door because it'll be chocolate. And again, these are like real thin acrylics, so it'll it'll take several coats. But I figured at least in the live stream we can get it started. Oh, hold on. There we go. It'd be nice if you guys could see what I was doing, right? So yeah, these that's the only uh, that's the only complaint that I have with these acrylics is that they're so thin, they're so watered down. And I might have to mix some of my other acrylics to kind of thicken it up. But you, you'll get the idea. Um, like I said, at least we could start it for the live stream. And then I'll keep painting it with multiple uh, layers and kind of build that up. So. There we 
you go. And that's the that's the beauty of working with acrylics. They dry fast. So I might have to use a hair dryer. I don't know. I don't I kind of don't want to cuz <laughs> it's just loud. Uh, but that's, if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. So I'm not too concerned about, I'm not too concerned about painting the top because that's where the cookie is going to go. So for right now, we're just kind of laying down color. There we go. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so I figured I figured we just put like layers on this and just keep painting on top, keep painting on top, keep painting on top until we actually uh cover the entire surface that we want to cover. So Ooh, well, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't have to go down there cuz that's the bottom cookie. Productive So yeah, I don't have to, I don't have to worry about that because that's going to be dark brown. That's going to be dark brown too. So I just got to worry about this here because that's the part where the door is. I'm a terrible host. I keep coming out of frame. <laughs> I was thinking of painting these with uh, spray paint, but I didn't want to like spray paint inside the house. <laughs> I kill everybody. <laughs> All right, so I made this like makeshift stand because I figured I would be doing that a lot. Uh, let me zoom out just a little bit. Oh, too much. All right, there we go. Give us a little bit more working area. So this is this is the back part that goes inside here. So that's got to be chocolate. So. Actually, happy trees. <clears throat> So yeah, you can see it dries really, really fast, and that's the that's the benefit about these. But the downfall to it is that you have to paint a lot of layers to kind of make that happen. Uh, I don't know if Steve made it to the chat or not. I hope he did. I haven't seen anything yet. But if he does, uh, make sure to give him a warm welcome. Be like, what's up, Steve? I know he may have... Um, he may have been taking care of his son and probably couldn't make the chat. But either way, uh, we extend our love to him. And be like, what's up, man? And then hopefully I can... I can show him the Hot Wheel car. That way he'll be all psyched about it. At least I'm hoping. If not, we just paint it again. <laughs> this sucks. This is not what you told me. <laughs> nah, he's not like that. He's actually really, really cool. Um, he grew up in California. So he was, a, he was just like me, kind of influenced by just... Uh, just the hip-hop culture and comics and superheroes and all kinds of stuff. So he, he grew up just like I did, you know, skating and all that. And I guess somehow that kind of got him into Hot Wheels. I'm, I'm not too sure, but it's really neat. He goes to like, uh, he goes to like swap meets and stuff like that. And he finds these really rare, rare cars. And I just think it's so cool because... Uh, he's able to find all these little trinkets and then he shows me them and I'm like, well, I don't know what I'm looking at, but it looks cool. <laughs> mm. 
that's better. Ah, yeah, yeah. Zooming out. Yeah, I zoomed out. It's, it's kind of tricky because I want you guys to kind of see what I'm doing, but at the same time, it's like, if you can't see what I'm doing, what's the point, right? <laughs> All right, so I can see at least on the door that it has to dry a bit more because it's kind of... It's peeling off the under layers. So I'm gonna try something real quick. I have a blow dryer here. So I'm gonna see if I dry this up. I'll be right back. You might hear the blow dryer. <laughs> So I got a blow dryer. I'm just basically like drying up the paint. That's all I'm doing. See, I got a blow dryer there. Blow dryer. All right, so hopefully that didn't like blow out your ears. <laughs> that looks like a fart cloud. <laughs> You're sending me fart clouds? Awesome. <laughs> no, I know, I know. It's the it's the blow dryer. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's working a little bit better. And like I said, I'll I'll probably like after the stream. I'll keep giving this a couple of, of coats until we get the desired effect, but we'll let that sit right there. This one, this one being that it's metal, seems to be drying a lot better than um, than the plastic, because the doors are made out of plastic. But this is metal, and it seems to it seems to stick better like dry faster and stuff like that so we're getting a good result if anything i'll just like paint the paint the truck and then do the rest off camera um away from the stream because this is this is a good good result right here very nice you see <laughs> Welcome to the chat, everyone. And people said that painting would amount to nothing. <laughs> Be like, oh yeah, well I'm painting a hot wheel on YouTube. <laughs> So they, I guess this weekend they have in, here in Orlando, there's this, there's this mall called the Florida Mall and they're having a, they're having a toy and comic book convention, which I thought was really, really cool. So I might, I might visit that this weekend. And if I finish the car, that'd be kind of cool. All right. Hang tight. We need more farts. Yeah, that's it. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, it's kind of neat. Um, it's <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man. So yeah, it's it, it's kind of cool. Um, it's hosted by I don't know his last name, but uh, a gentleman by the name Mike. He owns he owns a comic book store up here called Bad Apple Comics, and I guess he's the one that put it all together, which is kind of cool. So we'll check it out. We got nothing to do. Buy more toys for the wall. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. How we doing on time? This might be a, a two-week project. I don't know. Maybe. If I can keep the car on the camera. <laughs> it's kind of hard because I have my laptop over here. And I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at the laptop, but I'm looking at the car, and I want to make sure I'm <laughs> eight forty. Ah, we got yeah eight forty. Okay, we got time. So I'm I'm concentrating on painting the car, but I'm looking at the at the camera to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, it's like rubbing your belly and patting your head, <laughs> a lot like that. <laughs> oh man so let's see I think we can let that dry for a little bit and I'm going to attempt to paint the front uh, without messing up the what I've done already so we'll see we'll see how that goes put that back on the pedestal so far so good once I'm done, I'm going to give it like a clear coat and it'll look like really awesome. I just kind of wish, uh, I wish these paints weren't so thin. Like that's the problem. They're like really, really cheap. If you guys are working on, on projects and need acrylic paint, you can go to Walmart. That's where I got these, but they, I guess they have like two different kinds. They have craft smart and then they have, uh, this apple barrel, uh, paint. I don't know they're they're really like they're 50 cents you know they cost like 50 cents some of them are a dollar like metallic ones but if you're working on little projects at home they're good you just got to do like tons and tons of washes and it says it's all-purpose water-based fast drying uh, intermixable permanent adheres to most craft surfaces wood fabric plaster paper bisque canvas styrofoam clay resin terracotta and more non-toxic soap and water cleanup so they're pretty versatile but the problem is that they're they're very liquidy uh, they have a lot of water so you have to find some way of thickening uh, thickening up the product if you want to paint on canvases and stuff like that so they do say uh, they do sell a thickening agent that you could use for acrylic paint and it'll make it it'll make it a lot better uh, but I never really I never really found a use for it as of yet I just kind of I use these little cheap uh, acrylic paints for these kinds of projects and then also for uh, for pop figures and stuff like that like uh, let's see. So this is, this is, um, this is a stormtrooper helmet that I'm working on and I kind of use those, um, use those paints on it. Like these are acrylic paints and stuff like that. So there's that, but, um, I also use, I, I also use it in combination with, uh, with rattle can paints. Especially, uh, hang on just one second. Uh, all right, here it is. So this is this is a stormtrooper helmet that I'm working on, a death trooper actually, and it's gonna require some silver paint here and stuff like that. So this is painted with a rattle can. It's like really really shiny, but the silver is gonna be painted with um, with this acrylic paint. So I mean. If it works, it's not <laughs> too many things to learn. <laughs> My mind is melting. 
but basically like you know for projects like that uh these paints are not bad so just keep that in mind if you're doing if you're doing something like what i'm doing tonight uh that's what you're gonna have to contend with so there you go all right so let's very carefully peel this off oh they always tell you to peel in an angle that way you don't lift uh, the paint that you have on there and it's not a good idea also to leave tape on a on a painted area for a long time because uh, then the adhesive or the the acrylic paint will dry on top of the tape and then you start peeling it off all right there we go great success all right so I guess we can I guess we can paint the middle white that should be okay before I do the strawberry I don't know let's see let's see what we come up with but I hope I don't uh, I hope I don't mess that up so because it's not completely cured so I have to be like really careful when I paint right there The white paint. Oh, by the way, I can have, uh, let's see. There we go. I have a little bit of music playing in the background. So I'm, I don't want to like use a ton of paint on this thing, so. Will it be okay if it sits on its side? I think so. All right, let's do that. I guess I could use also um, testers. I know a lot of people that use testers paint and that's probably a, a wiser decision Um, and perhaps if this doesn't work out, <laughs> then I will run to the store and I will get some testers paint. But basically testers paint is made for, uh, for model, like model kits, uh, plastic, both, both plastic and metal and stuff like that. So maybe something like that will work. I don't know. I'm going to go all the way across with the white because this is going to be strawberry later and It'll help to kind of tie that down because the, the surface is smooth and I did, uh, I did spray it down with a rattle can, but this kind of gives it a little bit of tooth to it, like a little bit of bite where the paint can grab. Patience, daño -san. And I thought it was kind of neat, like a neat idea to kind of have it drip a little bit. So that'll be right there. All right. So that's got to dry. All right, so there we go. All right, more farts. Here we go. <laughs> Looking good. Thank you. Like I said, I'm, I was really freaking out. I'm like, how the heck am I going to paint this thing? But it's turning out pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with the results so far. All right, here we go.
<laughs> farts, 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 farts. That's gonna be the next song on the radio. Farts, 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 farts. Mm hmm. I know, I know. You're painting Hot Wheels on your live stream? Dude, that's like so boring. But I like to think that I'm, you know, doing things that are fun. I was thinking about that. I was like, well, is it going to be boring? Is it not? We'll try to keep it upbeat. There we go. So this is the this is what I was saying about the paint and how you have to like keep layering it and layering it and layering it. Um, uh, it'll <laughs> it'll be a lot. All right, so that's an interesting question. So, how many layers of white versus the brown in the back? Is that is that what you're asking? So, uh, naturally, white tends to be, um, of course, lighter than all the other colors. So, it'll take a, it'll take a few more than than the brown or gold. But yeah, it uh, and and that's the whole thing. Like, you can't you can't do a lot. As you can see, I'm kind of I'm dipping the brush inside inside the nozzle of the paint rather than dumping paint all over the van because if not, I'm just like smudging paint around. So it's just like layer upon layer, layer upon layer, and you just keep going from there. Oh, how fast an hour goes. <laughs> so that's that's kind of the idea there. And then this is going to be strawberry. So I'm going to dry that. I'm going to do the strawberry here. And then I guess, uh, I guess we'll continue next time. Do you guys want to do two live streams of the Hot Wheel car? Because I got another idea for next week. We can move on to that project or uh, come back to this one. So, whichever one. Oh, we got to dry the white. More farts. This is my highly educated. This is my highly educated art channel where we say farts for a blow dryer. <laughs> Here we go. All right, that's good. Sweet. Hmm. Hmm. What's the new project? More farts. All right, I can show you. Uh-oh. Mild disaster. All right, I'll show you what the other project is, and then you guys can decide. We're flipping the camera. All righty. We're flipping the camera real quick. Oh, oh, all right. All right, so I had my <laughs> I had my paint palette here on the side and it fell. That was that noise you heard. So let's see, what do we got? All right, so what do you guys think the project is? What do you think? What do you think? Hmm. How Trace was doing in the chat. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so uh, so obviously one is to finish the Hot Wheel car, but next week's uh, live stream is to customize one of these. Oh yeah, oh yeah! <laughs> All right, so this is uh, this is my Ash versus Evil Pop uh, that I that I 
picked up in the store and it I'll show you here let's open it up it's an exclusive it's very rare to find this this pop and and, and I shouldn't I shouldn't oh I shouldn't drop it <laughs> it's not an exclusive uh, this is actually uh, ash versus evil uh, pop number three nine five and so here's the thing like I don't know if you guys watched the show or not <laughs> ay dios mio <laughs> uh, why are you yelling at Leanne <laughs> alright so anyways this is this is my ash pop and it's gonna go somewhere you know up here uh, on my desk but I don't know if you guys watched the show or not uh, but he does spend a good amount of time, like, completely plastered in blood <laughs> as he's fighting evil and stuff like that. And I thought it was kind of interesting when I when I purchased this uh, this toy because he see that little scar right there on his face. It's like he gets that scar in a scene that's like completely bloody as all get out. So the idea was to kind of um, dirty him up a little bit and kind of, because the the metal the metal on the gun is like way shiny, and I kind of want to want to dirty that up a little bit. I want to add some you know some blood detail on the on the chainsaw. Uh, so the idea for next week's live stream, if you guys want to do it, <laughs> is to like you know throw tons of blood on this guy it'll probably be done in like five minutes <laughs> but at least it'll be fun so um but yeah so that's what i'm thinking so we could do one of two things we could uh we could either finish the hot wheel or we can we can bloody up ash ah hey what's up <laughs> hi drew Drew, you missed the hour. It's all good. So, all right. So, if you guys don't know, like, when I'm done doing the live stream, basically, YouTube will um, YouTube will save, I guess, a, a copy of it, and you can watch the whole thing in its entirety. So, But thanks for joining, Drew. Thanks for joining. Tell everybody. All right. So, you guys decide. We can either continue with the Hot Wheel next week, or, um, or we can bloody up Ash. So, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of want to, I kind of want to dirty this dude up. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. And, uh, and we'll decide then. But, but yeah, we're, we're up on the hour. Uh, we're going a little bit over, of course, cause I started early. Uh, of course, just like always, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for sharing and telling everybody about the live stream. It's so cool that uh, we're getting new people coming into the live stream, and you know, subscribers and all that, all that good stuff. So uh, I just want to say thank you for that. But this is what we got so far. So we got the chocolate already on there. We got the vanilla, and then of course this is going to be strawberry. Um, hopefully, I can finish this up, and maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll work on the car, and then. Um, Next week's live stream, I'll show you guys the details and everything that we did, and then we'll we'll dirty up Ash. We'll get dirty with Ash, <laughs> and I could say, like I don't know, I'm thinking of doing blood on the blood on the box everywhere. Just blood everywhere. Why not? <laughs> you want to see the car finished? Oh, okay. So you want you want next week to finish up the car? We could do that. Yeah, we could definitely do that. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. We'll finish up the car next week, um, and then, and then we'll do some blood after that. So this is the this is the final week of January. We've already gone. It's so crazy. We've already done four live streams, and it's so freaking awesome. It's so freaking awesome that it's happening, and it's uh, and it's getting a good response. So. Yeah, we'll do the first week in February. We'll finish up this little Hot Wheel car uh, for Steve. I want to say thank you to Steve for making that for me. 
uh, and just kind of collaborating on such a cool project and I'll have it done next week next Friday we will continue uh, you guys have spoken I guess I don't know <laughs> uh, and then after that we'll get to Ash I promise Leanne Trace we will do this one we will dirty him up maybe we'll take him to the shows he'll be like our mascot we just put him somewhere like <laughs> alright well that's all I got for now I gotta eat some dinner and stay hydrated I hope you guys have a wonderful 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 weekend of course all my love all my respect goes out to you guys uh, <laughs> super hyped to see the blood bring it on <laughs> I never knew you guys would be so excited about blood I mean come on <laughs> hail to the king baby <laughs> hail to the king give me some sugar baby give me some sugar <laughs> but yeah if you guys haven't seen that show uh it, it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun but yeah have a wonderful weekend uh like i said i hope you guys have lots and lots of fun if you're doing like cool projects and stuff like that or you're doing your own live stream or videos let me know let me know that way i can uh, i can check them out and uh and just offer my you know offer my support to you guys so until next time we will see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Destroy the chat. Everybody, bye. Say bye. <laughs> Big bye-bye. Adios, amigos. I'm hungry. Oh, hungry. Bye.